happy day to you. Good job, guys. That was awesome. Now we're going to say a little prayer for today and to get us through the rest of this week. So hands together, eyes closed. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please go before me and clear the way. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good job, guys. Now we're going to sing the, the, the Days of the Week song. Are you ready? Let's go. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. And Saturday. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Now let's say all of the days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Superstars is what you guys are. Super duper duper stars. Okay, guys, I want us to try counting to 50. So everyone stand up and up and up. Up number one. Put your hands next to your sides. Are you ready? Are we all number one? Yes, we all superstars. Okay, let's go. Count from one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Who are the clever kids in Teacher Sabrina's class that can count to fifteen? I'm sure all of you because you're all super smart. Are we going to try and count to fifteen again? Let's go one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done, well done, well done. You guys are superstars. Now let's count backwards. So everyone's gonna do rockets. So let me just put my camera a little bit down. Oh, I can't put it too down. Okay, everyone's gonna do rockets. Go low, 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 low. Put your hands like this. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bless <laughs> Good job, guys. Now, you're going to do the rest of the day's work. So everyone, put your thinking caps on. Switch on your ears. Are your ears on? Good. Let's get ready for fun. Firemen. Firemen are dressed in red, and they wear helmets to protect their heads. We call them when there's a fire, and they come and put it out with their super hose. Oh no, there's a fire. Don't worry, the firemen are on their way. Firemen also rescue cats from trees. Teacher. The school is a really important place for our education. That's where teachers work. The teacher is the person who teaches us everything. In the classroom, there's a blackboard, and on that blackboard, the teacher writes the things we learn. They teach us mathematics, English, geography, science, everything. Astronaut. To become an astronaut, you have to study a lot because it's very difficult to become one. Astronauts are the explorers of space. They travel in space rockets that launch from Earth really fast to reach very, very far into space. Astronauts orbit around the Earth and watch us from far away. Our planet is so beautiful from up here. Since there is no gravity in space, astronauts float around. Astronauts have reached the moon. Doctor. The doctor works in the hospital. 
The doctor's job is really important because he's the one who cures us when we are sick. In the doctor's office, there is a lot of equipment he uses to work. There are thermometers, stethoscopes, bandages, and medicine. Doctor, I'm not feeling too well. Don't worry, I'll fix you in no time. If something hurts, the doctor will help you. Farmer. On a farm, there are lots of animals. There are cows, pigs, chickens, ducks. But who takes care of them? The farmer. The farmer sees to everything on the farm. He takes care of the animals, feeds them, and takes them to the stables at night and when it's cold. The farmer also grows fruits and vegetables so we can eat healthy. Okay guys, we're gonna sing a song called If Animals Could Dance. What do you think animals would do if they could dance now? Let's watch this awesome video and follow the moves because there's ones where you move your arms and go on your tippy toes and move your legs. So get ready to move your bodies. Let's go. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A cat would dance and look just like this and sound like this. Like this and sound like this. No, no. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A cow would dance and look just like this and sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A dog would dance and look just like this. And sound like this. And dance like this. And sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A duck would dance and look just like this. Sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. An elephant would dance and look just like this and sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A monkey would dance and look just like this. And sound like this. And dance like this. And sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A rooster would dance and look just like this. Sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A sheep would dance and look just like this and sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A snake would dance and look just like this. And sound like this. And dance like this. And sound like this. Yay! Imagine animals could really dance. Well, that was fun. Thank you so much for dancing with me. Okay guys, so today we are going to be firefighters. So, 
get a spray bottle that looks like this with a little nozzle like this it doesn't have to be exactly like this as long as you can spray some water okay now i gave mommy a piece of black cardboard you're going to take a piece of your chalk i gave you white chalk and you're going to draw little flames like this okay so now we are going to be firefighters and we're going to take this and we're going to spray 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 until all the flames are out are you ready Let's go. Spray until your fire's out. We firefighters, we want to save the world. Spray, 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 spray. There we go. The fire's out. Good job to us, guys. Teacher Bina's class has saved the day. Well done, guys. Okay, gorgeous kids, so we've done our work and we've had lots and lots of fun. Now we're going to read a story. This one is called Dizzy Learns to Tell Time. It's a cool book. Dizzy the dragonfly wakes up with the sun. It is early morning and she is ready for fun. First, she has breakfast. It is always her way. She knows it will help her get through the day. So Lizzie wakes up at 6 o'clock because the big one is at 12 and the small one is at 6. So 6 o'clock. And then she has breakfast at 7 o'clock because the big one is at 12 and the small one is at 7. Dizzy meets Frankie in the morning, and the morning rolls on. One hour later, they sing song after song. Along came some friends who join in the fun. Before very long, the morning's but done. So, Miss L Dizzy meets her friend, her friend Frankie, Frankie the Frog, and they sing beautiful songs together, just like we do when we sing together. So they sing awesome songs together and then more friends come and join them so that they can all sing wonderful songs together. Oh, how cool. Just like we have all of our friends singing songs with us. So they sing. She meets up with her friend at 8 o'clock. There, the small one's at 8 and the big one's at 12. Then they start singing from 9 o'clock. So the, the small one's at 9 and the big one's at 12. Then their friends meet up with them at 10 o'clock to sing with them. So 10, the small one's at 10, the big one's at 12. And then at 11 o'clock, the morning is over. Cool, hey? Now you guys can see what time it is when you look at the clock. Very soon, it is noon. The morning has passed. Dizzy is hungry. She can eat lunch at last. Then Dizzy flies to a baby bird's nest for it's one o'clock and time for her rest. So, Dizzy eats lunch at 12 o'clock. So, both the big and the small hand is at 12 o'clock. And then she goes for a nap at one o'clock. Small one is at one, the big one is at 12. So, at one o'clock she goes to the baby bird's nest to take a nap. So, there is... Dizzy the dragonfly. She's taking a nap with the baby birds. The little hatchlings. When Dizzy wakes up, <sighs> I'm ready for the rest of the day, she says. She's ready to play. She says goodbye to the birds and then she is on her way. Next, she finds Bumble. Then play. they play and laugh and giggle with glee. So she plays a little bit with Bumble. So Bumble is a bumblebee. Bumble the bumblebee. And they play and they have lots and lots of fun. So she wakes up at 2 o'clock. Small hand is on 2, big hand is on 12. Then she plays with Bumble at 3 o'clock. Small hand is on 3, big hand is on 12. And then at 4 o'clock. 
They're still playing. Small hand is at four, big hand is at 12. And she says, at sunset, at sunset, the sun sinks in the sky. The day is but gone, thinks Dizzy with a sigh. And when night falls, it is time for bed. So Dizzy lies down and rests her head. Ah, <sighs> good night, she whispers. As sleep comes her way, and soon she is dreaming about the next day. So sunset comes at five o'clock. Small hand is on five, big hand is on twelve, and sleep time for Dizzy comes at six o'clock. Small hand is on six, big hand is on twelve. Okay, that was a pretty awesome book, reading about time. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I love you guys lots. I see a firefighter fighting fires I see a car mechanic changing tires I see a pilot flying through the air I see a barber cutting people's hair I see the people in my town And I say, hey brother, what's going down? I see a postman with the mail I see the police putting folk in jail I see a lifeguard at the swimming pool I see the teachers in the local schools I see the people in my town And I say, hey brother, what's going down? Nurses, astronauts, judges, lawyers in the courts I see an actor acting on the stage I see a writer writing on a page I see a chef working in a restaurant And a waiter asking what you want I see the people in my town And I say, hey brother, what's going down? Doctors, nurses, astronauts Judges, lawyers in the courts I see the people in my town And I say, hey brother, what's going down? I say, hey brother What's going down? Let's go. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? Good morning, good morning, a happy day to you. Good job, guys. That was awesome. Now we're going to say a little prayer for today and to get us through the rest of this week. So hands together, eyes closed. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please go before me and clear the way. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Good job, guys. Now we're going to sing the, the, the Days of the Week song. Are you ready? Let's go. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Now let's say all of the days together. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Superstars is what you guys are. Super duper duper stars. Okay, guys, I want us to try counting to 50. So everyone say, up now, Santa. Up like number ones. Put your hands next to your sides. Are you ready? Are we all number ones? Yes, we all superstars. Okay, let's go. Count from one. Let's go. One, two, three. 
Okay guys, hello. So now we're gonna do some awesome shapes. Some really cool shapes. So we're gonna take some shaving cream. So get some shaving cream, find a window or a sliding door that you can use. You have to first ask mom, hey, don't do this without mom's permission. Then we're going to take some shaving cream. We're gonna pour some shaving cream on the window like this. Woo! Fun, fun, fun. Get some on your hand. Okay. You're gonna go, oh. <laughs> this is awesome! Then you're gonna put it all over the window, like this. Make a big space so you guys can draw lots and lots of shapes on the window. Ah, oh, this is awesome, guys. I wish we were able to do this together. This would be such a fun thing to do in class. Okay, now that I have a place, Filled with shaving cream. Oh yeah, and this shaving cream is so nice and soft and it smells delicious. Okay, now that we have the window filled with shaving cream, we're gonna draw some shapes together. So let's start with the first shape we did and that is a circle. Are you ready to draw me a nice circle? Draw me a nice circle, let's see. So much fun now let's cover your circle let's see if we can't draw some small circles so let's draw three small circles are you ready let's go one two three three small circles good job guys well done okay now The next shape we're going to try and draw is a triangle. So we're going to start with a line. Can you make a line? Have you made your line yet? Good. Now let's going to go. We're going to take one line, but we're going to make it go to the side. So make it go this way. So do that. And then you're going to take this one and you're going to make it meet with the end of this line. And boom. You want to practice again? Let's go. One line, then another one going up, and another one meeting the other side. Good job. Okay, now cover it. Now, the next one we're going to draw is a square. Okay, so we're going to do this together, guys. Every now and then, just take your hands, because obviously you're going to have a lot of shaving cream on your hands. So just take it and fill up the spaces because there might be a bit of spaces here and there. Okay, now we're going to draw a square. So make one line here, guys. Straight line. Good job. Then one here at the top. Good job. One here at the bottom. Good job. Then one big at the bottom. Do you want to try again? Let's try again. There's a square. Good job. Okay, now let's try a diamond. We're gonna try draw a diamond. Let's do this. A diamond. One, one, two, two. Let's go. Let's try that one more time, guys. If you if it if your your diamond is, is still looking a little bit um like a square, that's okay. You can just keep practicing, alright? This is why we're doing this so that we can all practice, practice, practice. Practice. So make a line here. One that goes like this. Okay, so it's not straight. Another one that goes like that. And then down and down. Did you see the diamond? Good 
done it. Good job. Now, the next one you're going to do is a crescent. So let's do the crescent. So how I want you guys to draw your crescent is like this. It's a half circle. Okay, I'm going to draw it properly. So you guys are going to practice drawing it as a half circle, okay? But I'm going to draw it like this. And there's the crescent. Can you see it, guys? Can you see the crescent? Okay, let's try that one more time. You can either draw it like Teacher Bina, or you can do it how I showed you the first time. You can draw it like this, or you can draw it like Teacher Bina. Good job, you guys are awesome. Okay, the next one we're going to do is oval. Now remember, ovals are longer than circles, so we need to give it a lot of space, okay? So let's go. Oval, down. Can you see the oval? Let's try that one more time. One more time. And around. Okay, let's draw another one here. Make it long. Long. Three ovals. One, two, three. Good job. Now let's wipe that away. Now, what I want you guys to try to do is draw yourself. Can you draw yourself in this shaggy queen? Let's draw ourselves, let's go. We're gonna make ourselves a head. Give yourself arms, legs, eyes, nose, and a mouth. And some hair if you can. Do you want to try that again? Let's go. Face. Arm and leg. Arm and leg. Eyes. Nose. Mouth. And a little bit of hair. Good job. Okay, keep practicing guys. Remember, practice makes Perfect. So practice, 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 practice. And then if you want, you can draw other stuff. Or you can draw numbers. Or you can make the shaving cream different colors. So you can dip, dip your shaving cream in your colors that you made. Or you can do anything you want. You can play with the shaving cream on the window if you want. But you must draw shapes so that we can see. How well you know your shapes and show mommy and daddy, okay? Okay, gorgeous kids. Well done. Okay, kids, so our um, art for this um, week is the tie because it's occupations. So sometimes you'll see your mom, your daddy wear a tie. Sometimes daddies don't wear a tie and we see someone else wearing a tie. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the tie. So you can either use paint or you can use pom-poms. If you have pom-poms left, you can use glitter. You can use your crayons. You can use your cookies. You can use anything to decorate the tie. So I'm going to use a little bit of paint and I'm going to use some pom-poms. You can cut the tie out and use it at home so, so that you can put it up on the fridge so you can show mommy how good you are. So I'm going to quickly cut out my tie like this. So I ask mommy to do this for you please guys. I don't want anyone to hurt themselves while they're cutting. This is, this is a little bit sharp. Okay. I'm going to take this piece of the book. I'm going to put it this side. And I'm going to finish cutting out. So you can really use anything you want 
anything super cool. You can even ask mommy if she will let you um, use a little bit of rice or pasta. You can do that as well. So I'm going to paint my tie with a few spots and lines everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to give this piece here on top some spots. Okay, and now I'm going to give this one some lines. And there we go. So I gave my tie some lines. I'll just put one more over here. In some spots. Okay, now. to put some pom-poms if you have color paper that you maybe want to use you can also use color paper so i've got different color pom-poms over here that i'm going to put so you need to take some glue but you have to use your craft glue guys otherwise it's not going to work so i'm going to use my craft glue Put a little bit of glue. A little bit of glue. And you're going to stick your little pom-poms on your tie. Okay. And then you just keep sticking and keep sticking until all the whole tie is filled with your wonderful pom-poms or your glitter or your anything, anything that you have to decorate your tie with. Okay. And you just keep going and you fill your tie with the pom-poms and you make it look extra pretty. And there we go. That is the decorated tie for today. Well done, guys. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A cat would dance and look just like this. And sound like this. And dance like this. And sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A cow would dance and look just like this. Like this, Ooh. and dance like this, and sound like this. Ooh. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A dog would dance and look just like this, and sound like this, and dance like this, and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A duck would dance and look just like this. And sound like this. And dance.
dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they looked so funny. An elephant would dance and look just like this and sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A monkey would dance and look just like this and sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A rooster would dance and look just like this. Like this, and dance like this, and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A sheep would dance and look just like this, and sound like this, and dance like this, and sound like this. If animals could dance, they look so funny. A snake would dance and look just like this and sound like this and dance like this and sound like this. <laughs>